Hello, this is Miss Rhonda from Creative Things. I hope everyone is well and blessed today during this critical time. I hope everyone is safe and your family as well. I would like to thank you for joining in today on my video. Um, I finally reached a thousand views. Thank you so much for your help thumbs up and kudos to all those that view my channel now my goal is to get a thousand subscribers views are just people looking in on your videos but I need people that can stick with me view my channel from time to time and become a subscriber of my channel please pass it on to each and every person that you know I will always leave the link down in the description and I will also leave the link for my Facebook page creative things and for crafty ladies of the 757 again I say thank you so today I'm working on a project everyone know that Mother's Day is coming along and so I started on a project I also finished another tray that I did for my other son, Teeny Man. Hey, Teeny. He loves his G Ma, and so he loves the Black Panther. And so I did him a tray featuring the Black Panther, which I used the Risen. And I will definitely leave that video link down in the description below so that you can see the technique that I use to make this tray. I hope you will go and view that and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and leave me a comment down below. But this is for my grandson, Teeny Man. He loves the Black Panther. So, let's get started. What you will need to complete this project is a piece of board. And I also mentioned recycling in my last video of different things that you may pick up. You can use the back, the front, and you can paint it. So that's exactly what I did. I think this board was something that had Easter on it. So what I did was paint it with my famous chalk paint by Waverly this is a super super paint here it can cover almost anything and it's quick and fast drying so it's Waverly chalk paint and by the way I'll leave all the materials down in the description box below I, uh, you're also going to need some flowers and believe it or not these beautiful flowers came from the family dollar store so you can find beautiful arrangements in different places Okay, I also use the nautical rope to go around the board with your famous glue gun. Okay, and the dark marks that you see are with my stencil brush and truffle paint just to make it look like a wood grain type uh decoration and also you will need half of a plastic um, flower pot and so the Dollar Tree has the flower pots they come six and they're like flimsy plastic and you can just cut it in half because you're only going to need half of it you're also going to also going to need half of a green foam where you can cut in half and I use my foam knife to cut this with to make it a halfway this is in order to secure your flowers when you get ready to stick them down in here you're also going to need um, maybe some words I'm going to say what I'm going to say this is a surprise so I can't like reveal it but you're going to put your words on the top of your board okay you can use a marker or today I use my Cricut cut today um, I usually just hand do my letters but I wanted a special font for this so I use my Cricut cut to cut it out with so those are the items that you're going to need in order to complete this process so sit back let's put it all together and see exactly what it's going to look like okay so what I did here is that I took and I glued my half a pot onto my piece of wood so this is going to be like a platform because remember your words are going to go here 
So I'm going to move this over to the side. So what I did was I um, cut my words out with my Cricut Cut today, earlier today to save time. And I usually um, would use my hand to do my lettering, but I wanted a special font. So I use my Cricut Cut this time. So here, what I have is my weeding kit here. And these are the tools that help me pull the extra vinyl from around my words. This is permanent vinyl. And it didn't have to be mirrored because it's not going on a shirt. So I'm going to get my weeding tool out of here that I usually use. And let's see if I can get this um, vinyl started. And usually I just stick this sharp piece here because this this these are very sharp tools believe me don't stick your finger with it it'll feel like you're having a t a needle so what i'm gonna do is as you can see i'm pulling the excessive vinyl from around the letters and before i start weeding in between the letters i get the biggest part of it off first Okay, and then I take my little tool here so that I can pick up the extra that's in between here. And just be gentle, take your time. And I think it's a little piece in between this E here. Yep. There you go. And then I think it's a little piece in between the T. And make sure you have good lighting when you're doing your um, weeding from your vinyl. Because they sometimes they have little pieces like right here in between here. I can't even see this. So I, I your lighting needs to be good in between the E and also right here where the t is like a little cut hole right here so you want to make sure that you have good lighting so this says best so you can see it says best b e s t okay and so now we need to weed out mom and so I probably uh, won't do this video till after Mother's Day. So, because I don't want my mom to see it because it's for her. So, I am trying to get a edge started here. So, let me see if I can use this to get it started. Okay, there we go. So I usually then take my finger and just gently pull from around the lettering because you want to be uh, sensitive when you're doing this vinyl because it's sticky for one thing. And if it get caught onto the other letters, then you really going to have something going on. So you want to just like keep it balled up all the extra balled up in your hand that way it won't go back down and get stuck okay there we go and there is mom so now what you need to do this is a scraper here and let me weed out this little part right here where the l is i didn't get that so you have to be careful and i didn't get the t So I'll pull this out. I want to make sure I get it. Make sure I get all the little, 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 little 
little teeny pieces out of here. Like there's one for the L and the R had a piece here. And I just stick that right onto this vinyl here. Because this part, this piece that I'm working on, which just was which is just a piece of um, wax paper. I'll just ball it all up when I'm done and throw it in the trash. So here it says, world's best mom. And what I'm gonna do is because I need like a little apostrophe. Let's see if I can find my scissors. Oh, here they are right here. I'm just gonna take a piece of vinyl and then kind of like make a slanted piece to go in between so you don't have to do something spectacularly special um to go in between the letters just kind of make it look like an apostrophe s so i chose this font because it's like really really fancy and it's really really pretty and it's going to be um Mother's Day, so and so it looked like this. So you separate the S from the T. Okay, so now we're going to do transfer tape. And transfer tape is what you're going to use to transfer your wording to your board. And you see how wax paper doesn't stick. So that's why I use wax paper. So I make sure that each wording has its own, um, its own piece. That way you can put down, put it down separately. Last one is world. Cut that off. And so the the extra you can just clip off. You can cut it off if it's in the way. Just cut it off. And stick it over here on the side. With the rest of your stuff you know just cut the extra off you don't have to have the extra unless you're like saving it for some saving the wording like you don't want to put it on just yet and you want to hold it for another day or another project then you would fold it under um and it will keep and it will put you will fold it under say i had did this lettering today but i wasn't going to finish the project today and so you would just fold the ss to the back and then when you got ready to do it it will come right back off again because this is not it's it's almost like contact paper and a lot of people do use contact paper they don't even use uh transfer tape to do this they just use contact paper and see how this peels off because it's, it doesn't have a sticky backing. So you can just fold it over if you wanted to keep it. If you made a whole lot of them and you just wanted to keep it, you can do that. So now in order to transfer this, this is called a scraper. And basically it's just putting pressure and I make sure that's just me a lot of people may not do it i just make sure i go over each letter so the transfer tape can stick i just make sure i go around each letter so that way when i get ready to pick it up 
it will be stuck to the paper just like this and there you have it and now it's ready to be transferred to your board and so now I'm just gonna do the next one because I'm gonna place my one of my words before I place my uh, I'm going to try to do my flowers before I place my words. And so I just make sure I go to every corner, if you can see what I'm doing here, to make sure that it's going to stick. And there you have it. Comes right off. And all I'm doing is laying them right here on my Cricut Cut. So when I get ready for them, um, all I have to do is reach over and, uh, and get them. So how has everybody been doing? I hope everybody's been great. This has really been a trying time, I tell you. I try not to go out this house unless I have to go to the grocery store. This is going to be something that our children will remember for a long time. And I must say my grandchildren, because my boys are older. So, um, Jaquan is 23. And the funny thing is, he turned 23 April the 22nd. And I thought he was turning 21. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then I have Jerron, my middle son. He's 26. And then my oldest son is 29. And he will be dirty 30 June the 19th. So what does that tell you about me? <laughs> I won't tell if you don't say nothing. So I'm going to put my first word here. And I'm kind of somewhat like eyeballing it. just to show you how it's going to work and the reason why i'm eyeballing it and just placing it down is because i want to put this first up here and then i can see exactly how tall i want my flowers to be now you can place them down on the transfer paper onto your board um let me turn this around so you can see it a little bit onto your board if you want to before you take the transfer uh, backing off if you're not sure about you know how it's being done so you can just um, you know do that first if you want to you don't have to do it like that now see I can see my parentheses did not latch down so I need to hit it just a little bit more and pull up on it again and just take your time don't snatch it up you know thinking because sometimes with vinyl it's not all the way down so just take your time when you pulling up your transfer um, tape just take your time see now there's my W it didn't get all the way put down for some reason so again I just take my time and this time I'll go from the bottom up because maybe it didn't have enough glue on it or something and there you have it world is already placed on it okay so I'll be right back I'm just gonna see how I'm arrange these flowers and then I'll come back and we can put them in together all right crafty friends so now you see that my words are up here world's best mom and then i place my flowers which is basically just cutting them with your wire cutters sticking them down inside the styrofoam piece that i showed you i added another little flower up here for my mom and it makes it look like a basket of flowers and then i did my um hanger on the back 
so that it can be hung on the wall. Very easy, very simple, nothing complicated. Anyone can do it, even a crafter that has never crafted, and that's my goal. So I'm going to put all the supplies in the description down below. Please check that out. Remember, you can use as many flowers as you want. Um, I tried to use the little grass pieces to make it look a lot natural. So um, the bouquet would stand out. Um, I tried to blend the flowers in with the words, you know, so it looked like springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, recycle, recycle, recycle. You can always paint and reuse something. Um, remember chalk paint, wave release chalk paint, which is what I use to cover um, my board with. I also use Waverly Truffle to make it look like it was a rustic type uh, decor. And this is the ending result. I think it came out very, very nice and very, very beautiful for Mother's Day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you again real, real soon. Thank you all once again for the thousand views. Come on with me. Walk this journey and help me get a thousand subscribers. In the meantime, you guys stay safe and blessed. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye now.